was on YouTube. Yeah. And so what did you do on YouTube? You made you made a diagnosis yourself. You made a video. No, I made a diagnosis through many different doctors. Through probably about 15, 20 doctors through about 20 years. And there's been diagnoses made. There's been a lot of treatments involved. And basically, people just don't know what to do with it. Now they're just trying to give people a, a drug called Lyrica, which. What does that do? Besides, makes, besides the side effects. <laughs> Besides the side effects, yeah. is what it does. Yeah. It makes you feel like your brain is in a box and you can't really do anything, but you're still in pain. So I'm not sure what it does. It did give me a stroke, though, when I was 40 years old. So um, they don't have anything to really help it, and no one's even doing any research. That's why I'm trying to explain What, what is sauna help you? Excuse me? A sauna. A sauna? Warm your, a, to warm your body up. It helps as long as it's not too hot. Too no, hot will understand. put you into a problem. Too cold will put you into a problem. Anything that's too much of too anything will put you into a problem. If you eat, it could be a problem. If you walk you even a diet? Problem, any diet. What foods can't you eat? Well, I it depends you know on the time. Eat. You know, if I decide to even eat, I have IBS. You know, a lot of people suffer from IBS. That was one of the first symptoms of fibromyalgia was not being able to digest. So you think it's the brain? I don't think. There's been the, a lot of... sending out the wrong pulses. There's the a lot of places. So there's a lot of research. Thinking that there's something going on in the brain. Says, well, we're going to fix this. And well, my pituitary gland kind of blew up when I was younger. And if you find out all well, of these papers right out. here, pituitary run, runs the, the hydrothalamus. Yes, right. And the hydrothalamus you get cold, you get hot, you get yeah, sweaty, I know. I know. you can't eat. I'm a big girl, but yeah. I should be a thin girl because I really don't can't eat a lot because of this condition. If I walk downstairs instead of using your elevator, I won't walk for three or four more days and I'll feel like I played two football games. It sounds like the aging process. No, it sounds like hell. Well, I know. I know. <laughs> it was Did you ever look it up on Google? Honey, it's all over the place. It's it's everywhere on the internet. And no care. Uh, there's very little care but pain management, which if you didn't have pain management, you get in a lot of problems. So will you take for pain? Well, I do take pain management, and it's not a bad thing like some cultures tell you. Yeah. You know, there are people some that misuse pain yeah, management. Yeah, you overdo it, yeah. I had a younger sister that came from a small Utah town, Yeah. and they thought using pain management was bad. They might get addicted. Well, she ended up killing herself. Because she, of this? Because of pain. She was a, a former sheriff. This, this was your sister now? My, my half-sister. Your half-sister. She was a former... I, I actually started painting, and I you know, made a yeah, I see about you your different artwork. And, now, and she actually shot herself because it, the family pain. could not relate with the pain that she was experiencing. And so they gave her problems when she would use pain medication. And in her note, she said, I could not take one more day of pain. And this, this wow. woman had four kids. Wow. And did the children have it? Or did the children have it? Well, you know, it runs in, in, in a different way in each skips, family. Skips the generation? I don't know if it skips. You have, I think have it comes in different ways. the other siblings in, the, in your family? Yes, I do. I had a, a younger brother that um, had a lot of head problems that just died. What kind of problems? Uh, head problems in his, in his brain problems. He was walking down the street, he fell, he hit his head, oh, okay. and he ended up on life support for seven days, and then he died. Yeah. So, with this You disease, don't have a happy ending, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'll say you're you. <laughs> wow. And I'm trying to help other people. Yeah. I got 20,000 so people now, follow me on YouTube. Okay, now, okay, now they're on YouTube, and they send, they send you these testimonials, right. and they call you out, and you allow them to call you out and talk to you. Well, actually, you, you do a video. You know, and basically, I just look into a camera and I speak honestly. Yeah. And I just tell people what it's like, and I try to tell their families what it's like so they don't make the person feel bad. And then the people Why that have this that? are thanking me because, just like you, you don't understand what people are going through. You think it could be well, a pill that can help us, or well, you well, don't. Well, I mean, the idea is to find you. know what pain? Have you ever been into a car wreck? I, I was you feel in a like a car wreck? <laughs> well, no, I'm a car wreck. I was in a motorcycle wreck and I, I broke half the side of my body. I was a hot Harley Davidson. Uh, and I was also... a wild girl. Oh, a wild girl. <laughs> That's why I'm still alive. God is keeping me alive to help people figure out that we 
we have to help people in pain. Okay, so what do you want to do with this on this program? You want to talk to more people with this problem? I want people with fibromyalgia to know that I'm here and I understand them. I'm on YouTube, M. Sertonio. They do, call they me. Come, do they come and see you? Well, they'll come see me, but they, like I said. I know, you got all of that. It's there's awesome. thousands awesome. of replies. They, 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 they write to me, I write back. We're trying to all Can put things sleep together. Can you sleep oh, you never sleep. Your body is what? like. What? Well, that's part of fibromyalgia. Your I body is like. Some sleep, okay, have you ever like laid there and then you go to sleep for a couple of hours and then you wake up and then you're in so much pain you want to cry? And your body is sweat, and your bed is soaked through with yeah, sweat. Yeah, the body's turning. Oh my God. That's what it's like. And there's millions of people out here. There's more women, but there's a lot of men also. And the men get a, a harder time than we do. Really? Because the people really don't believe in them. And they are writing to me here just suffering just as hard. But then how does the doctor diagnose this? Well, you, the basically, it's like lupus or yeah. another one of those diseases. You go to your doctor, they don't know. You go to your doctor, they don't know. Finally, they find different points on your body. If you're hurting here, 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 all these different points, well, then you have fibromyalgia, especially if no other treatments have helped you get better. And if you're not sleeping, that's a big sign of it. Absolutely. Now, when you did the uh, acupuncture, Acupuncture is a wonderful thing, and it felt great. And if you have a lot of money, you can do it. Focus up on because it's like when you're on your table, you feel really good. And as soon as you get out into your car, you have a rough time driving home. So I kind of learned to do some acupuncture points on my own. What about a massage therapist? A massage therapist, if they do that, they can do as, I mean, as much gentle, damage. Gentle, gentle. They can do us as much damage as walking up a flight of steps. Right. Now, is it a form of it, it, it's inflammation, it's, it will get also into your joints. It, it, it's just a form that takes over your whole body. It's your brain not telling your body how to respond to pain. And it needs more research. Do you need your marijuana? <laughs> no, no. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I tried that. Yeah, whatever. And it made me go like, Well, really? It, if you want to really know the truth, that the best treatment. One of the, no, the real truth, the best treatments yeah. are they use um, pain medication. What about opiates? They use opiates. That's, I, I use a pain medication. I also use a pain patch. They also use a block that goes up inside of your nose, which is a pharmaceutical cocaine. Yeah. And it actually lets your body relax instead of being on it. Turns the switch on. Now, are you getting disability? Um, I dis I I'm on dis disability, and it took me six years to get. Well, they, and they, I was they, not they working. fight they fight everybody on that, so they're right. trying to get there. Right. So one day I just started painting, and then I started doing my YouTube, and I really you know, didn't know. I, you, you brought the painting. This we look at a white shot of it. But the thing is, why did you do the painting? Why did the painting get involved? Did it help? Is it therapeutic for you? It's totally therapeutic because I used to be my job was being a musician. I'm a singer. Yeah. I used to get on the stage and sing all night yeah, and, and play conga drums. Oh, really? I can't do that anymore, so I have no way to. Can you still sing? Of course I can still well, sing. Okay, well, that's, that's still an asset. Yeah, you got to put that to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I just okay. don't have the energy to get out and do it in front of a crowd anymore. No, just do five, ten minutes to get out. And I'm well, I would do that. What was you. your stage name? I'm Michelle Sertonio. Oh, really? <laughs> and, where did, and where did you play? Where did you? I played in Key West, Florida. I also played many places up here in Fort Lauderdale. I have my own business with the catering company, mm -hmm. Nina's Kitchen. In, in Key West? Here. Oh, in the city? Here in Fort Lauderdale. How do you work if you're going to pay? I don't right now. That's why I started paying. You're just stopped full time now. You're right. just started your job. I got out of bed to come and see you. I like to go back to bed. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. So anyways, if you want people to contact, you want to give out a number or a... Uh, 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 yeah, they can always see me on Facebook, and they look under M, which is Michelle. Yeah. My last name's Sertonio, C-E-R-T-O-N-I-O on okay. Facebook. Okay. And YouTube, you guys know me, and I love you, and keep the... Uh, How do they find you on Facebook? Name? Just type your name in and that's Yeah, I just told them on Facebook, M. Sertonio. Okay. Same thing on YouTube, M. Sertonio on YouTube. Keep the comments coming, because we are going to get people going. There's a uh, big party at Cinema Paradiso Saturday. You're having a wild 
I'm not having it, but these this new magazine called the Bristol Cats Bristol is Cats having it. Yeah. They happen to actually like my painting. I just started painting. They're going to do a show for me, and they're having a big to do at the Cine Paradiso, which is a great place to have a party. Yes, Will I you come with me? I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Be singing this one. I'll sing you a song <laughs> anytime you want to, baby. Okay, thank you very much. So it's Michelle. Say the beautiful cat. Sir Tonio. Sir Tonio. Yeah. And it's on the internet, it's M. Sir Tonio. Right. right. Okay, so you have it. Yes. I thank you very much. Oh, hold up the painting. Oh my God, we're going to watch your big painting. This will turn. This is actually. There you go. Hold it up big legs. There you what go. What I felt oh, was. Right there, that's fine. Down, down. I want to see the face. Bring it down. Down, 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 down. There you go. It's actually what I felt was like a, a portrait. It's how I felt. It's. All the if red parts up, were If I pain. woke up in the middle of the night. Would this scare the shit out of you? Oh, you did. And she said the four letter word. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bad girl. Yeah, I know. Bad girl. Well, anywhere there's red is where there's pain. And the rest of it's frustration because of the way yeah, the world like sees us. But wouldn't, wouldn't you be allocated? Oh, well, there is pain management, but there's got to be more. Pain management just puts a band aid. We well, need I know. a cure. I mean, but if it we want to. I want to be back singing again. I want to be up no, so on the stage singing like to you. To oh, and I can't do that without I, research and help. The whole bit. Yeah. I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have it. <laughs> I'm glad you don't. Thank you. You would be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>